The fifth episode of Silo finally updated. This episode of the big villain quietly appeared. His identity will certainly make everyone feel surprised. In the last episode, it was mentioned that the Sheriff Juliet in the bedroom air duct accidentally found the lost files of her dead boyfriend George, but who actually put it there is not known. The other side of the police officer Sam just returned home. He was attacked from behind by a mysterious person and died. When Juliet arrives at the scene of the crime, Judge Bernard and Bald Sims from the legal department, Sam's body had already been collected. Bernard also found a civilian from the silo to take Sam's place as a assistant sheriff before the dead man could be laid to rest. Bernard filled the vacancy. Apparently he and Sims had seen this coming. After the two had left, Juliet accidentally found a list of criminals in her pocket, and a criminal named Kennedy had been circled. Sam's death is most likely related to this criminal. Juliet stuffed the list into her pocket, then she covered Sam with a white cloth. Afterwards, Juliet finds Bernard. She wanted to apply for an investigation into Sam's case, but Bernard didn't seem to be in a hurry. He drank the ex-mayor's wine by himself. The most important thing for him now is how to inherit the mayor's position as a matter of course. Course. At this point, Juliet suggested the police officer Sam and the mayor buried together because everyone knows the love story of the two of them. Although Sam and the mayor were not married, but this twilight romance is not against morality and ethics. If they were buried together, the silo can still tell the wonderful story of the old civil servant's twilight love. What's more important is that the former mayor and Sam were both loved. The former mayor and Sam were both very much loved by the people of the silo. If this goes well, Bernard's succession would also be of great help. So Bernard, in the name of the acting mayor, he held a funeral ceremony for the former mayor and Sam. After Bernard's impassioned speech, the civilians who attended the funeral all wept, since the mayor loved to race during his lifetime. To commemorate the death of the former mayor, Bernard decided to hold a big marathon in the silo. The winner will receive the status of management. The bell rang to start the marathon. Everyone ran towards the top floor in a swarm. At this time, Juliet, according to the clues, successfully found the list of circled Kennedy, although there is no direct evidence to prove that this man is the murderer. But the first time Kennedy saw the sheriff, Juliet, he turned around and ran away in fear. It seems that the murderer is probably him. Juliet rushed after him. At that moment, a marathon was being held in the silo. Kennedy used the snake skin position to get into the crowd. Juliet was dragged further and further away by the crowd. As he was chasing Kennedy suddenly turned back. He throws Juliet off the stairs. Thanks to Juliet grabbed the handrail of the stairs. Kennedy sees that his cover is blown, ready to push Juliet down the 10,000 meters deep silo. But Juliet is not that easy to deal with. She grabbed Kennedy's middle finger. She broke it off with a click. Kennedy's screams attracted the attention of the surrounding civilians. Juliet was about to fall into the abyss. The civilians came to her rescue and pulled her up in time. The rescued Juliet leaned against the wall, shivering. It was her first brush with death. On the other hand, JFK escaped from Juliet's chase. After escaping from Juliet's chase, Kennedy came to a secret stronghold. The person who opened the door for him was Sims from the legal department. Looks like the villain has shown up. Knowing that Kennedy's identity has been exposed, Sims lured him up to the silo corridor under the pretext of talking. When Kennedy was unprepared, he pushed him down into the silo. Because in Sims' heart, Sims has a hidden revenge plan. It seems that the death of Juliet's ex-boyfriend, Sims is also involved. The next day Juliet was about to arrest Kennedy when she heard the news of Kennedy's death from the management. Juliet decides that it must be the mastermind behind it, so she hopes to continue the investigation. But the management obstructs her. The woman ordered Juliet to stop. Now that the killer has been identified, the case needs to be closed as soon as possible. Since they couldn't dig deeper into the mastermind, Juliet approached the acting Mayor Bernard. She wants to be given two days off so that she can secretly investigate the matter. To her surprise, Bernard readily agreed to her application. After Bernard granted her leave, Juliet walked out of the mayor's office. As she walked past the central dining room, Juliet learned from a painter. He found that the world he saw on the big screen had some fixed light sources. These light sources seemed to be running along a large circle and formed a W trajectory. But what this pattern means is not yet known. Leaving the central hall, Juliet followed the tunnel on the ground floor. She came to the underground depths of the silo. She came to the corner and bent down, taking out the metal box from inside. Take out the duckling that her ex-boyfriend left her before he died. Could this duckling be a clue? And what kind of secret is hidden in the silo? See you next Friday for the sixth episode of Silo.